Jalen Walton, a yard deep, and he takes a knee. And Ole Miss will start from the 25. Play action. Wallace comes up firing deep. It's tipped. It's caught on the run. Laquan Treadwell. And he's got it all the way down to the 37-yard line. He's not going to get it this time. C.J. Mosley's got him stood up. Fourth down at a yard. They're five out of eight on fourth down conversions so far this season. Treadwell taking it wide. Cartwheels for the first down, I think. Ha ha, Clinton Dix hit it. They're going to spot him short, I think. Oh, I don't know about that one. Look, Aaron in the shotgun. Third straight drop back. Now he fires deep down the middle. He's got his man. There's our impact player, Christian Jones. And Jones has got a first down. Out at the 47-yard line. Yeldon pops into the secondary. D.J. Yeldon all the way down to the 26-yard line. Cody Pruitt was the last line of defense, and he made the tackle. Play fake. They're going to throw a screen out. Jones again weaving his way through traffic. And he got inside the 20 by a shade, picked up seven. And again, Yeldon up the middle, and he's going to get the first down. Kenny Bell moves in tight on the right. And the stretch play, and the ball is out. But Yeldon fell on it himself. Lucky bounce right there for TJ. Tenth play of the drive. They need a chunk of yardage to keep it alive. McCarron fires quickly. Bell hit immediately. After making the catch around the 11, and it's going to be fourth down, and field goal unit will trot out. This one should be easy. 28-yard attempt. A.J. McCarron, keep in mind, is the holder. Foster to try to get the first points of the ball game. Has it from 28. People want to make the comparison of AM's offense and Ole Miss. The only thing that's super similar is the pace and the tempo. Very different teams. AM's running game, inside zone, and quarterback run. Wallace gets it complete. It's going to be short of a first down. CJ Mosley bringing down Evan Ingram. Wallace, plenty of time, throws high and incomplete. Vince Sanders, the intended receiver. C.J. Johnson for Ole Miss, who led them in sacks last year with six and a half, was carted off the field of the locker room a moment ago, and that could change the defensive front considerably. Although Kandichi is still playing tackle on this first snap. And nice play. Yep, there's a the negative play. Shackle, shackle for it on the stop and a loss on the play as we check in with Holland. Mandel's inside his own five-yard line. High snap. He handled it beautifully. Not a very good kick, though, unless he gets a good roll out of it. And Scott's just got to backpedal and get out of the way. That could have been a disaster. you got to give Cody Mandel a lot of credit for one hand in that baby and just getting it out of there. Alabama's going to blitz. Wallace in trouble. He got rid of it, and he got it complete to Moncrief. Moncrief inside the 40 and down to the 36-yard line of Alabama. I didn't know if he was going to get that one away. Treadwell wants to throw a pass intercepted by Alabama's Eddie Jackson. Three wideouts in there right now for McCarron on second down at five. Quick slant complete to Norwood, and Norwood, who didn't play last week, is going to get a first down. He was one of those guys Todd talked about. And he has to throw quickly across the middle. Got it to Norwood. A sidestep job. He's close to a first down. I think he's a yard short. And then Siski was very involved in the game planning defensively for Ole Miss this week. Throw into traffic and a shot to Jamez Logan. First down. And Bo Wallace put some smoke on that one. So far, Jeff Scott has not been a factor out of the Ole Miss backfield. Wallace fires far side, complete, trying to get to the first down marker is Moncrief, and he's about a yard shot. See, that's the difference, second and 10 and second and 13. 
Third down, and it's Wallace straight ahead, and I don't know. Forward progress, that's going to be the key. I thought his forward progress got the first down. If our yellow line is true, it's going to be a first down. And Hubert Owens isn't even going to check it. First down, Ole Miss. The Alabama crowd trying to make it difficult for Bo Wallace. Blitz coming. Wallace steps up, throws short. Treadwell dropped the ball. Looked like he had it for a second, but ha ha Clinton Dix make sure he didn't hold it. And Christian Jones, who has a touchdown return this year in the opener against Virginia Tech, 72 yarder, waits on the other end of Tyler Campbell's kick. Whoa, and they got close to that one. And Jones will have to let it roll dead around the 20 yard line. Landon Collins made that kick exciting. Kimdichi out right now getting a break. They got a couple backups on the field inside. Again, Kenya Drake, the tailback in the pistol set behind McCarron. Going to throw on first down, completes it out to Amari Cooper. We got a flag down. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number 10. 15 yards added to the end of the play. First down. Now CJ Johnson got his ankle taped. Now he's got his feelings hurt. First down at the 41 with the penalty tack down. And now the throw out to Christian Jones. Jones with a nice stiff arm. And I think he's got another first down as he crossed midfield to around the 49-yard line. We check in with Reese Davis. A little easier to tell what that team's all about compared to some of the other teams across the country. Here's Drake trying to take it wide. What a nice tackle. Well, did he go down? Yes, he did. Trey Elston with the stop. All A.J. McCarron has done is win two national titles and go 28-2 as a starter. And here's his throw over the middle to Vogler, the tight end. And the ball well came out. It's still bouncing around, and Alabama's got it. And Cyrus Juanjo. The big fellow wanted to run with it a little bit, but you're <laughs> down, Cyrus. You're down. Third down and six. McCarron. Tough throw and a heck of a catch, or did he not catch it? Norwood's got it. First down, Alabama has been living in this third and long situation in the first half, third and nine. McCarron backpedals, throws, complete, and Drake lost the ball again, and this time Alabama gets it again. I think Vogler the tight end, boy, a couple of breaks. Foster's longest this year, 46. This is a 53-yard field goal attempt. Kick on the way, and he got it. Alabama thinking about bringing an extra man off the corner. Wallace throws that way. He's got a first down. Got it to Dante Moncrief, so they can move the sticks. They've been a little bit vulnerable in the back end of their defense. They got to find a way to stretch it. Second down and eight. Again, Wallace wanted to let it go one way and comes back the other, and there's nobody home over there. And a flag flies in. We're going to have grounding, I think. They've got a guy right on his nose, McCarron, on third and four. Steps up in the pocket, late throw, but it's a good throw. Amari Cooper, first down. Well, that's a great job by A.J. McCarron. McCarron, easy throw and catch. Uh, oh, that might it. be a late. Nope, no flag yet. Uh, they're lucky. Third and one, just trying to keep the drive going here with 115 remaining. Yeldon. And he's got the first down. Out to the 49-yard line. McCarron fires to the right side. Complete to Norwood. Pick up of seven. Alabama still has two timeouts left. See if Ole Miss can come up with a stop defensively. McCarron zips it. Completes. Kenny Bell, first down. And where they are right now is not a gimme field goal because of the penalty. First and 15. McCarron throws to Yeldon on the run. Got him in stride. T.J. Yeldon trying to hurdle a couple of guys. And he got to the 29-yard line. And now the clock winds. 15, 14. They're going to spike it now. Well, seven seconds. They're going to throw it to the sideline and get what they can and tip to out of bounds with three seconds. So well done by yep. A.J. McCarron to Kenny Bell. Trying to give the tie a 9-0 lead at halftime. Foster from 42. Looks like it's going to be perfect. And is.
Yeldon. And here's his best run of the night. He spins his way with what might be a touchdown. Nobody's going to catch T.J. Yeldon. He's gone. All right, Holly, second down and eight. Ole Miss. Wallace looks right. Now comes back to the middle. Good throw complete to Logan at a first down. I'll tell you what, if Ole Miss doesn't get something going on this offensive possession, A.J. McCarron may not have to throw another pass tonight. <laughs> You know, they don't just keep it simple, even though a team's going no huddle. Here they come again. Same blitz. Scott can't get away from Eddie Jackson. Tied defense, fired up. E.J. Yeldon behind A.J. McCarron. The last time he touched it, he took it 68 yards. This time they fake it to him, and McCarron throws to the sideline. Christian Jones put the brakes on. He's got a first down, spins his way out. For extra yardage, a pickup of 17. Try to keep this drive alive on third and five. Blitz coming from Ole Miss. McCarron gets rid of it in a hurry. He's got a man wide open. Jones, Christian Jones takes it out all the way out near midfield. And another first down on third and five. They get 11. Drake is in the backfield flanking A.J. McCarron on first down at 20. McCarron flushed up in the middle of the pocket. Runs into his own lineman and has to take a seat. And now Wallace will take it. And this is the best run of the night for Ole Miss as he gets about 10 yards. Run out of bounds by Clinton Dix. Wallace thrown into traffic and caught, though. Evan Ingram, boy, there's double coverage there. See, Ole Miss is looking to the sideline, and Alabama's looking to the sideline. Because of the time going off, both coaches changing things at the, at the sideline. Blitz coming. Wallace hangs in and throws a dart out near midfield. Good throw. Dante Moncrief and a pickup of 11, and they'll move the chain. Now they got to go fast. That's what Corvette means. They're going to run about three plays in a row at and high tempo. Jeff Scott, that's his best run of the night. Here they go. And when they do this, they typically will run the same play three times in a row. They're not real fancy with it, but they want to go fast. They won't run the same play here because Scott's over in the slot. It's an empty backfield. And Wallace, on second and short, throws, completes. Goes to Scott, though. And he's got another first down. Stay with it. Stay with the tempo. It's a different play. Play action. Wallace wants to throw back to the right side. on The swing route. Oh, boy. It was set up beautifully. And Ingram is hit. And this might be a targeting foul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was defenseless. But watch his head lowers just because he's losing his balance and the contact happens above the shoulders in the neck or head area. After review, the disqualification is reversed. Number four can remain in the football game. The 15-yard penalty will still be assessed. Itavius Mathers inside the 10 to the 8. That's his first carry, a pickup of seven. I got to think this is two down territory with 340 to go in the third quarter, trailing by 16. Third down and two, blitz coming off the corner. Wallace throws, broken up, intended for Moncrief and haha -ha Clinton Dix. Yeah, broke it up. This might be Ole Miss's best chance. Deepest penetration into Alabama territory, fourth and two at the seven. Wallace, play action, throw, knocked down by Mosley. Yeldon trying to take it wide. Close to a first down. It's a little bit short, about a yard. Yeldon has the first down, out across the 20. Well, they're going to run their tempo, which is take as much time as possible. Which is what they're doing right now. Snap it with seven seconds on the play clock and just give it to TJ again. And Yeldon powers his way to a first down at the 31-yard line. First and 10 at the 31. Again, Ole Miss showing a run blitz. This time it pays off. Loss on the play that time. So we check in with Holly. A.J. McCarron will give it off to him. He breaks into the second wave. Out to the 38-yard line. 11 yards. Quick throw into traffic. Intercepted by... Ole Miss, Cody Pruitt has got it back to the 30-yard line. 
And there's the interception or the turnover that Ole Miss has been looking for all night long. Ole Miss at the 31-yard line. Treadwell joins the backfield. They fake it to him. Wallace, plenty of time, and now running out of time, throws complete to Treadwell. And he got about seven or eight out of it. Wallace fires high, incomplete. C.J. Mosley and Sinceri were covering. Scott, this time he busts through, and he's got a first down. And that quiets the crowd momentarily as he goes down at the 18-yard line. Still looking for their first points of the night. They've got to get to the eight for a first down. Play action. Wallace in trouble again. And he'll go down after a gain of maybe two. They got one foot down on this drive. Now they need five to pick up another. Wallace throws too low, incomplete. Movement, the right tackle moved early. Pierce Burton. Do or die time for the Rebels right here. Fourth and ten. Wallace fires. Tipped, almost caught, and incomplete. It's Drake. Nice run. Sidestepped a couple would-be tacklers and almost got a first down. Fowler comes over to the left side and sets up. It appears they're going to run that way with Drake. He actually goes up the middle. He's got the first down. Puts his shoulder into some would-be tacklers and gets extra yardage out to the 34-yard line. Big night when we're done in the Pac-12 tonight on ESPN and ESPN2. So big weekend conference play all over the country, including this SEC battle of unbeatens. Drake breaks contain, gets to the corner, little stutter step, almost to midfield. So you take out T.J. Yeldon, bring in Kenyon Drake, sophomore out of Potter Springs, Georgia, and not much difference. Yeah. From the 49, McCarron blitz coming. He's got to throw it low. That time the pressure got to him. Kenny Bell, the intended receiver. Well, this week, Ole Miss quarterback Bo Wallace made this very grand statement. We can put points on them, talking about Alabama. We've got better receivers than AM. I don't know if they're exactly first round corners. Well, no points have been scored so far by Ole Miss. I heard somebody on the Alabama sideline say, why would he ever say that? Why try to make Alabama mad? Just don't want to poke the bear sometimes. So the question would be, does Bo know Bama? The answer is no. <laughs> Not this Bo. Here he is from near his own goal line. Aaron one out. And now he's got a man out there. This nope. might be a fumble. Nope. Incomplete. It was Moncrief who had it just for a split second. Eddie Jackson knocked it away. Third down at six at the 45. McCarron. Deep sideline throw again. Just going to throw up a prayer through that one out of bounds as Cody Pruitt was coming out of safety blitz. Stanford playing later on tonight. But are any of those teams clearly better than Alabama? I don't think so. Punt coming up by Cody Mandel. Jeff Scott has to let it bounce. Are they going to save it from the end zone? It's right on the goal line almost. What do they say? One foot line? Got to be very careful here against an Alabama defense that would love a safety to add to the total. Wallace. <laughs> I think you can add a safety to the total. Yes, you can. Kick goes out of bounds right about the 20 yard line, so it's going to be good field position. Kenyon nope. Drake breaks into the secondary. He is going to take it. Unless Pruitt can get there. No. Touchdown, Alabama. Had the one targeting foul. The penalty stayed, but the ejection was overruled. Got to stay in the ball game, and he's played a really nice football game. He made a couple more plays after he was reinstated in for the football game. Bo Wallace has had a troubled night. It's even worse now. He just fumbled, and Alabama's got it. Let that clock wind down as much as possible. Sims will keep it again. <laughs> That's the old misplay. 
Fake the sweep. Quarterback keeps behind the guard pulling. So if they don't pick up five, Ole Miss will get the football back. And it's going to be close, but I think they are going to get the football back. He's about a yard short. And uh, Ole Miss hung in there early, and then ultimately they were no match for the Crimson Tide. And then things like that happen when you hit your receiver, who probably should have had it, though it was good defense. Last time Alabama shut somebody out was the second to last week of the regular season last year. They beat Western Carolina 49 to nothing. And there's a hungry freshman wanting to get a little bit of work, and he picks up 13 yards. <laughs> and the red on his face right now because he coaches to the very end. And with 20 seconds left, they're going to have a kneel down victory play there. And they go to 4 0, they being the defending national champions and 2 0 in conference play. So that is the eighth straight win for the Crimson Tide dating back to last year. It is the tenth straight time they've beaten the Rebels of Ole Miss. 254 yards rushing in 38 and a half minutes. Time of possession will do that for you. 25 to nothing is the final. Don't forget, number five, Stanford and Washington State is coming up next. College football scoreboard as well. 25 nothing here as we send it back to Reese and the guys in the studio.